Ugh. What a life. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Don't laugh at me. I will. How are you, Stiletto? I'm good. I've been busy over the last 24 hours. What are you so. doing? You're doing shit. What are you doing? Kids? Oh, I'm doing all kinds. I did my radio show this morning. Yeah, what's with that? You're doing a show every morning now? Yeah. What the fuck? Why aren't you saving it for the... I don't think our audience likes that you're you're blowing your load early. Why? I don't know. I think they do. I think because they're used to me streaming all day, so... Just fill up my timeline with where what I'm doing, because... That is what this show did turn into, though. This Bad Beef Morning Show. It turned into, I was streaming anyways, and it turned into a show. Yeah. But then it turns into work, though. Like, I hate doing this show. I can't stop it, but I hate it. I hate so much about this show. <laughs> I do. I don't know why I continue to do it. Every way, when I wake up, like, why am I doing this? And then people show up, and I wonder. I wonder what's wrong with them. Um, like, Howard Stern is a good, good analogy. He just, like... I agree with 100%. Like, people just go away, leave me alone, and I'll go and do something else. Like, I'm fine. <laughs> so leave me alone. <laughs> They're not going to. Please change the channel. <laughs> let me go Let me go on to something else. <laughs> let me move on with life. But no. Exactly. It's not going to happen, though. Like, I know when to move on from stuff. You yeah. know. What are you going to do, though? Same. <laughs> well, I went to... Um, I went to a uh, mompreneur type thing. A what? It's called, it's like an entrepreneur thing. Oh. And I went there with my best friend yesterday, so that was super fun. And uh, we what got the, jacked what up. What <laughs> Huh? What'd you drink? You get jacked um, up. It's called this um, matcha, matcha tree, a uh, tea. And it's like a, a Japanese green tea. Is it like pe peyote? Um, it feels like it. I don't know, does peyote make you hyper? I don't it, know. I'm trying to get it to replace coffee. You know what I mean? Like, I want more energy, but I want, like, good energy. I don't want it to, like, taper off and then I pass out. We doesn't do that for you, though? Um, no, it doesn't. Really? Like, I have coffee. I don't know, maybe because I balance it all out. It's like, you know, greens and coffee kind of go hand in hand, you know? But uh, I'm trying, I really am trying to, I mean, I love my great big mug and size matters and all that stuff, but I kind of want to, but I drink that all day. Like I drink coffee all day. So I'm trying to get a little bit more healthy. I loved, I used to love tea. So I kind of want to switch to tea and see how it works. I used to, like now coffee is like a sometime snack for me, like the cookie monster says. Mm -hmm. I, uh, like once in a while I'll get an espresso drink or something. Right. I'll go to like Big B's. Not a, not a Starbucks fan, but I am a Big B's fan. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'll do. Yeah. Controversial statement from here. I haven't mm -hmm. done that in a while, though. I haven't even drank straight up coffee. I'm uh, I'm trying to cure myself. Yeah. I'm like I have so many other vices I need, I, I have to struggle with. Like alcohol, I'm never going to go away with. Mm -hmm. I want to constantly just smoke cigarettes. Like, but I haven't smoked in like a year and a half. That's all I want to do. Like, my neighbors have a, a sun porch, and all they do is smoke cigarettes in the backyard. Like, that's all I want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have, well, a hor I, uh, have a horrible life. Have have more phlegm than I already do. <laughs> well, my girlfriend, she's a smoker, and um, so she's smoking last night. And whenever we get together, you know, of course, social smoker. And I smoked, and I'm just, I had it. I woke up with a fucking headache, and I was like, ugh, never going to do that again. But it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of like summer. It's a summer thing. <laughs> like It's hot like, in the summer, though. It's like smoking has no good time because you just in, no, you're, but, you're inhaling hot air when it's already hot out. No, but I'm talking retarded. in the morning. In the morning, it's nice and cool here. So here. it's a coffee and then morning smoke, and that's what I used to do. My mornings are and, miserable. It's just, it's, just, it's just humid because I live around, basically around a bunch of like – like basically drainage things. They all go into the like the river, but we have like a well, little. Well, you're right on the lake. We have so like whatever. we have r river pass. I'm not in the in the lake. I'm on, I'm in Michigan. It's not it's not that. It's not like a lake dew. It's just like just hot grossness. So I wake up. I open the open the window till about eight forty five, and then I immediately turn on the air conditioner down to sixty eight. <laughs> but then I actually been go. I've been going outside a lot lately. Like I love being outside. I'm an outdoorsy man, I'm an outdoorsy person. But I don't want. Oh, Friend of mine just talked about he 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 thought he had a sliver in his balls, but it turned out to be a tick. And he, he lives in the fucking city, and all he does is sit outside. And I'm like that's I'm gonna get a I I can't even enjoy life now because I think I'm gonna get a tick. 
Oh god. I have like forty citronella candles around me, but that's that shit that doesn't work for ticks. Tea tree oil. Put some tea tree oil on your balls. I'll do that. What is it called? Someone Jonathan tea, what, peach, tea tree oil. What does that do? Is it re, repel t- ticks? Yeah. It's a like a natural repellent repels um mosquitoes and all that stuff. Mosquitoes Plus, uh, I'm anyway. fine with, even though I'm I kinda want the Zika because I want to be like Beetlejuice from the Stern show. Mm-hmm. But besides that, like the small head little midget thing, like I'm I'm actually the only person that's a fan of Zika is because it produces more people more like whack packers. Mm-hmm. You just don't want ticks on your balls. I don't want I don't want it to happen to me though. The ticks, yeah, like the, the spiders, ticks. On Instagram, I saw like a, a I don't even know what it was, but it was a giant tarantula giving birth or something. And I saw it for like two seconds. And I'm I'm surprised I didn't have a nightmare. Like and, I can and your and your centipede things. Like I things get so easily ruined for me. Vaginas got ruined for me because I watched the movie Teeth, which the is teeth, which yeah. is about a woman who, when she feels like she's being raped, has a angry vagina. And it wasn't even that. It was just like her boyfriend would be having sex with her and she wouldn't like the boyfriend. So her vagina would turn into teeth and bite off the penis and then her, he'd pull out a stump. And I watched that with like a like one of my like girlfriends at the time. I'm like, "Hey, this is fun." You know, like we're like in, you know, junior high and we're yeah. just hanging out and not like, you know, I'm doing anything, but like and I'm like, "Oh, great. Now I can continue on my path of staying away from vaginas because I'm just terrified of vaginas now." S's are fine for some reason because I'm like, you know, but a vagina is scary. You know. <laughs> well, I mean, vaginas can be a very scary place. You don't want a blue vault, blue waffle vagina. You don't want a teeth vagina. I missed that. Didn't we used to do that where we would go through uh, horrible sexual things? Yes, we did. I'm actually glad we stopped that. But so this too. this show is progressive. The show doesn't get boring. We we move on when things get boring. We do. We just just keep going. I have you ADHD, so you guys will never have to worry about me sticking on something for too long. But then I also have like Asperger, so I like love things like when they repeat over and over again, mm-hmm. like the Bobby song. <laughs> I want. I actually want to do something. You know how like okay, so there uh, uh, again. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to talk about. I, I like. I am always a fan about talking about horrible parents. The uh, there's like you know there was. Uh, the, the Harambe, the Poria, whatever, the girl like that got shot because like, parents yeah. weren't watching the kid. They said, I just did a, a piece first, on that this first morning. First it went, oh, uh, you know, I only turned away for two minutes and then the, the person who took the video was doing an interview and she said she turned away for 60 seconds. But what what person in the right mind takes away for just, for 60 seconds, let alone two minutes, doesn't, you don't you don't watch your kid for 60 seconds in public? I guess you just put him in strollers, but you just you just ignore a kid for 60 seconds in public. Like, does I, anyone know how long that is? That is huge. That's a long amount of fucking time. For, and just, apparently this kid was really rambunctious and said he wanted to go in to play with the gorillas. He really wanted to go in. And the lady said, the lady said, he was like, oh, he was joking. I was like, bitch, you're, he's a three-year-old. But I was going to... <laughs> he was, I was damn serious. Just so my audience knows, because my audience is half retarded. I was going to I was gonna be silent for 30 sec- for 60 seconds. But instead of doing that, I'm going to play the Bobby song for 60 seconds. And I'm going to time out exactly how long this, this lady turned away for her kids. And then we'll move on from it because the story is horrible. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> what do you think about that cracking? <laughs> yeah. What's up? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> What do you think about that cracking? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Yeah. All right, thanks. Oh shoot. It was thirty seconds. What are you doing there? See, thirty seconds is a long time. That is a. What do you think about that cracking? Yeah. What's up? Oh shoot. What do you think about that cracking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that yeah. cracking. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck's wrong with yeah. Bobby, first of all? <laughs> I need to pause this for a second. What, what is wrong with Bobby? Nothing's <laughs> oh, wrong with Bobby. Bobby's amazing. But anyways, that, that's a long time. 60 seconds. It is a long time. time. And I don't give a fuck. Okay. Um, one of uh, somebody in the chat room said that. <laughs> that the song is good, area, though. That song holds great. up. Um, was secure. Why would the four year old? No, no, no. That thing, okay, the zoo has been around for 37 years. 37 years, nobody else, I don't think I've heard of anybody else falling in. This kid was wandering around and really rambunctious, and there, I have a three-year-old right here. 
drive me crazy. But the thing is, when I bring them into a public place, though, and you know your kid is like rambunctious and clearly doesn't listen to you, then put it in a car seat or in a stroller, put it in your arms, hold its hand. You know, there's lots of options. And turning away, I only looked away from it. Were you that enthralled by the fucking gorillas that you had to turn away and let your kid fall in? The fuck? And I'm not going to blame the, the enclosure. I'm going to blame the stupid mom. What the fuck are you doing? But the fact that they had to shoot the gorilla, that is a true thing. Did you see it? Okay, the gorilla, if people don't know, it dragged the baby, the kid, underwater a couple times. They were like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you actually recapping the story? Everyone knows the story. No, not everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> not everybody knows the story because they have different sides, di- different views. So uh, I'm not, I don't let people get into this. It's yeah, just... but the thing is, is that it wasn't, it's a wild animal and it was, um, it was going to kill that kid for sure. It, it might have had sexual though too. Who knows? Yep. We don't know. Uh, I don't think you would have killed it by, you know, I probably would have just crushed his head and stuff, but. Yeah, like a marshmallow. I mean, did you see the size? Right, like, so I don't want to talk about this anymore because I have the some kid news was and stuff. As big as a hand. I'm just going to be you for right now. <laughs> Look at Stiletto yelling. <laughs> Stiletto yelling in silence is the best. All right. <laughs> I'm so glad I have control of everyone. I don't know what's just. I didn't hang up on her. She hung up on herself. A woman disguised herself uh, with a face tattoo after a crime and still got caught. I didn't hang up. A woman in California killed someone in a hit and run. In, fuck up your shit right in, now. In April, so What's she tried. Happening? She tried to keep the cops. She tried to keep the cops from finding her by dyeing her hair pink and getting a face tattoo, but it didn't work. She was uh, she was spotted on Saturday and arrested. And they arrested her. California is crazy. A guy tries to steal beer from a fridge and it ends up falling on him. It's not clear where this happened, but uh, some idiot was apparently trying to steal beer out of a locked refrigerator. Uh, it looks like it's outside a bar. Uh, it might be a vending machine that sells beer. But uh, when he yanks the handle, he br- handle to break the lock. The entire thing tips over and falls on him. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's my luck. I'll always be like being like hotels and stuff in weird hours. So like they'll have like, you know, I'm like they'll have like the mini bar stuff. Not like mini bar stuff, but they'll have like. Uh, you know, like the the bagels locked up. I always try to get into the bagel thing. I always have trouble. You know, like they keep. You know, knows what I'm talking about. People know what I'm talking about. I don't go to hotels that much that people won't know what I'm talking about. Right, Slow? I don't know. Thanks. Thank you, Slow. I don't even know what you're doing. What are you're you doing? What are you doing over there, Slow? Nothing. Hanging out, chilling, waiting for you to finish the goddamn story. The kid's pretty quiet today. I'm surprised. Yeah, I beat him. How's he doing? Is that the one that got it all his, that, that you stole all his teeth? I drag him out of the water. I drag him through the what water. What ended up happening to the kid? He had his teeth removed or something? Yeah, he had his teeth removed because of milk. He was sleeping with a bottle, and all my kids have had fine a- teeth. AK in. was, you, you were breastfeeding him? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He was drinking, I should have been breastfeeding him, but um, no, he was uh, drinking milk out of a bottle when he was younger, and. Um, it rotted his teeth, and the, parent, and the dentist said, you know, um, it's back in the day when it used to be delivered in a glass bottle, it used to be fresh, but now it's all pure sugar, and it melts kids' teeth, and he said he sees it all the time. It's sad. It's, it's very sad. sad. Yeah. So, beware of the milk. <laughs> I drink, is soy milk all right? I do uh, soy breast milk. milk is good. No, 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 no. I don't, I'm not a fan of breast milk yet. I'm not that fucked up sexually mm-hmm. I, have, I have daddy issues no mommy issues fortunately mm-hmm. hmm so many things like I'm, I got off the, the, the uh, like even now I like I had a I bought a six pack of Mike's Hard Lemonade because I wanted to re- relive my childhood I was gonna listen to shitty Cobra Starship and Fall Out Boy and drink um, <laughs> Mike's Hard Lemonade which was what oh, I did when I right. was alright so here's what I did when I was 15 I was on stick cam which was basically like it was basically like blab yeah, fairly popular on Stickham. I don't know why, because I was I would dress up and stuff. I look I wouldn't look like this. I'd look cute and stuff. So I'd go on Stickham till you know the wee hours of the morning. I'd be on Stickham. I'd be smoking cigarettes. I think I just started smoking weed, but like such a small amount of weed that like it was ridiculous. Like you know, basically like a, a noob smoking weed. 
mm-hmm. you know, basically smoking like cat hair and stuff. Not actual cat hair, but gross. And then I'd uh, I'd go and stick in, open up a, a six pack of Mike's Hard Lemonade. I think I, all right, this is what I would do. Cause I'd have to have my sister buy me alcohol. Thank you, Jen. So uh, Jen would drop me off uh, a, a, a what is it? A box of cigarettes, box of black cigarettes, which were like clove cigarettes, and a six pack of Mike's. Two mics on, so the, the six pack of mics will be two on Friday, two on Saturday, and then sometimes I'd save the rest, or I, sometimes I'd do three on Friday. I get a little crazy, mm-hmm. and I'd I'd have one to save for the week. I was a I was a perfect young alcoholic. I was so a- anti booze, like that's all I could drink was like coconut rum and uh, like Mike's hard lemonades. But now I'm like I I just do like beer and wine, which wine is still like kind of sweet, but I don't want to be into that. That Coke thing, that Coke phase, the Pepsi phase. That's all. I, that's all I would Coke do. When Pepsi. I, that's what I would do when I was like ten or eleven, twelve. I drink pe- like I drink Coke. I'd buy two liters of Coke. I would pour a big mm-hmm. glass of it with ice and sip it all night long, and my teeth are fucking horrible. Yep. it happens. Ah, <sighs> but to find out it happened from milk, though. And then now milk, yeah, it's fucked up. That's what I'm. Yeah, si- that that's what really I'm trying to get up. to. Milk is fucked up, Stiletto. Yep. I would be, basically it's equivalent to him drinking Coke. What happened to his teeth? So, not impressed with um, what's going on. It's fucked up that milk. It is fucked up milk. Just drink it from the boob like a normal human. <clears throat> a family tried to uh, had to jump out of a five story window to escape a fire. This is in Russia. Russia's fucked up. That's all I'm gonna say. But uh, a family in Russia had to jump out of a window from their fifth floor apartment to escape a fire earlier this month, and uh, neighbors used a carpet to catch them. First, they tossed their 11-month-old baby and uh, then their three-year-old, and uh, then the woman jumped and uh, followed by her husband. They all survived. There we go. Well, they had to get rid of the extra excess baggage first. What's your fire plan, Slo? So that was like 14 kids. Well, I mean, what's, what, some of the kids can take care of themselves. Is, do you have like a buddy mm-hmm. system? Like if there's a uh, fire? You should actually have a buddy system like a school. You should treat your, your house exactly like a school. The buddy system. I don't even know where my kids are. Do you know what the buddy system is? I know what the fucking buddy system is. You should is. have a buddy system for your kids. Uneven numbers. You have eight though, right? Six? I have six. One's not here. Dia's out. Oh, she moved. Well, Dia out. can take care of another older one. Like the older ones, don't really need themselves. But buddy system, you know, like tragedy. Um, they're all pretty capable. Uh, I think the baby. Canada's would be gonna go down sooner power. or later. You have to be careful. So you should, when anarchy <laughs> strikes up, buddy system. Your kids are going straight no, to listen, fucking America. I have, listen, and I'm gonna listen. house them. <laughs> no, this is what's gonna happen. See, my kids are trained for the zombie apocalypse, so we are ready. We are ready for anything. And um, yep. As far as the fire thing, I don't know. There's no fires around here. Benny's, I mean, I'm the only one that's really, I think, in my neighborhood. Please don't rob me. I have a Doberman. But um, I'm probably the only one that's actually in a house right now. Everybody else is working around here. So I guess they would blame me if there was a fire around here. Just don't piss me off. Exactly. Exactly, sound effects machine. Oh, look at that small small boy. Look at, see, this one doesn't listen either. (laughs) This is what I'm saying. See, what do I do? Threats and intimidation. It's almost my haircut, except my hair is getting longer. I got to shave my head again. Yeah, he likes his head shaved. What are you going to do? It's nice in in the summer, but you got to keep their, got to keep them, their head sunscreened. Uh, I don't, we don't, (laughs) we're brown, we don't. My kid actually asked me, Mom, my Cancer friend, still like, affects your skin even though if you're a Filipino. No, no, no. <laughs> even though if you're a dirty <laughs> wet bag, doesn't mean no, you can't no, get no, cancer. No, no. no. <laughs> teacher said to him, like, oh, do you have sunscreen? And my kid actually came home and was like, Mom, what's sunscreen? What does that mean? I'm like, we don't do that. <laughs> you should have sunscreen, you retard. Nope. Don't need it. No, because I don't believe in it. It's, um, it. it, it <laughs> I don't much, believe in it. I don't. Ah. I don't. I do not. It filters out vitamin D. What? Yeah, you need vitamin D. It filters out vitamin. Get, go, play with your iPad, my iPad. <laughs> a guy at the Libertarian Convention did a strip tease on live TV. A uh, the Libertarian party, a party chose former New Mexico government Governor Jer- Gary Johnson to be their presidential nominee over the weekend. He was a candidate for uh, 2016. 
But then a big, white, chunky dude with a red beard named James uh, Weeks stole the show. He was running to the uh, be the party chairman as a joke, but instead uh, of giving his speech when he bowed out on Sunday, he did a strip tease on live TV. So there was a fat ginger doing a strip tease on, on the internet. I want to see it. That you can see. I didn't want to play it because I don't like seeing fat people. Sunscreen burns my fucking eyes when it mixes with my sweat. Mm-hmm. Says someone in the chat room. Then don't put it on your face. <sighs> Are you bald? Big. I don't know why I'm asking the question. <laughs> I don't know why I ask follow-up <laughs> questions. <laughs> I don't know why either. <laughs> Dwayne Specialist says, "I hate. I hate to show. T- I, I hate to show to, but I watch just so you have to keep doing it." Says Dwayne Specialist. That's verbatim. Not me being retarded in, in breeding. <laughs> Sunscreen's a thing. You got to be careful. Yeah. Here's an idea. If um, you feel like your kid's going to burn, maybe not stay out in the sun too long. Controversial statement from Stiletto. Pro tip. You're welcome. Thank you. Stiletto at Stiletto Supermom is where you can find her. Patreon.com slash bad beef is where you can find me. And uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Meerkat, Periscope, Ustream, and uh, Blab. Is where you can find us. This is a thing. I talked to Bobby, so yeah, the the Monday thing is probably a go. So yeah, okay. Monday maybe we'll start this Monday. Monday this Monday will be kind of weird, but we'll do it anyways. Starting Mondays is the Bobby and Stiletto show, or the Stiletto and Bobby, whatever I f- uh, talk to a speech pathologist about, which sounds <laughs> easier for people to say. I have to talk to people, make sure I can say the title of the show. Stiletto and Bobby, Bobby and Stiletto. Both of which is going to uh, highly, highly enunciate. That's not the word. Highly, highly put a spotlight upon the fact I have a speech impediment and the, sometimes a lisp. So this is going to be a show about us learning together, I suppose. Yeah, let's learn. But it's a show hosted by Bobby and Stiletto and then also Betsy and then also me here in the studio where I, where I hide. Beef will shut up, guys. Isn't this exciting? He's going to shut up. I can uh, awesome. not get annoyed when Slittle's kid screams because I yep. can just sit here and just turn off my headsets. <laughs> yep. It'll be awesome. It'll be so awesome. Can't wait till you shut up. And then, of course, Great. the usual beer radio on Tuesday and the Slittle show on Wednesday. So there's that. Um, yeah, I only want to see you once a week. How about that? Briefly on Monday, but definitely on a Wednesday. But I got to prepare for you on the Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Thank you, small child in the background. And thank you to uh, the audience. Audience, thank you.